At the same time I'm working with all these young artists where it's the first exhibitions anywhere and or the first show in, uh, in America so I was working with the German uh, young German artist Albert Erlen and out of the blue he said to me well what's your next exhibition and oh no no without not knowing what the exhibition is he said to me, you know, the, the American artist with the biggest influence on me is Malcolm Morley. And I looked at him and I said, you've got to be kidding because that's my next show. Mm -hmm. And I never asked him, what did you mean by that? But by him saying it, I went back and rethought Malcolm Morley completely. And um, it turned out that this was the, the rethinking that I had on Malcolm was what these young artists were having. And um, I was doing a book on, on Julian Schnabel not long after the Malcolm Morley show. And Malcolm called me out of the blue and he said, what are you working on? I said, well, I'm doing this book on Julian and everything he says and does sounds a lot like you. And he said, of course, he, he worked for a brief time for me as a studio assistant. And I said, I did not know that. He said, nobody does. And um, so then I was able to write, instead of in the conditional tense, I now could write with authority that there is this continuity from the ideas of Malcolm Morley to, um, to Julian Schnabel. And I hadn't given Julian the book to read before it was published. And when I saw him, he walked right up to me and said, in the most biblical language, you, tone you can imagine, you wrote what had to be written. <laughs> So um, I see it, there's incredible continuity from one to the other and they might look completely different or have nothing to do with each other. I mean, you know, I've also worked with artists from all over the world and I, mean, I see these connections and, and or it, they change my thinking of the way I'm going to approach it.